Our next method of cupping that I'm going to demonstrate is called flash cupping. Sometimes this is called empty cupping, but I like to refer to it as flash cupping. This method uses a medium to strong suction. And what you do is you put on all the cups that you're going to use and then take them off and then put them back on. So it's a quick on and off motion, hence the name flash cupping. All right, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate the technique here. Here I have just one cotton ball, so it's a medium cotton, and I have six just medium sized cups. And you're gonna put on all of your cups really quickly. And then once all of your cups are on, extinguish your flame and go ahead and take off the cups in the opposite order which you put them on. So the last cup on will be the last cup off. And then now what you're going to do is repeat this process again. So you have your flame and then you just put the cups back on and you move the cups around. So you put them on into a different location each time. And then again, you'll take off the cups. So this is a medium method, it's a tonifying method. So you'll repeat the process as many times as you need in order for, get, for the marks for the skin to get sort of a medium red, maybe even sometimes some people get like a dark red to it. But I'll go ahead and repeat this one more time just for sake of clarity so that you can really understand the technique. All right, so again, medium flame and just quickly apply your cups. and then the cups don't stay on very long and you just pull off the cups. This is a tonifying method. So it's really going to be able to uh, stimulate the whey chi and gently moves chi and blood. This is a really tolerable form of cupping and it has a wide range of application. I like to use this type of cupping for an acute onset of a wind cold or a wind heat. So that acute onset of stiff neck, sore throat, you know, sort of just that, that first stages of like a cold when you're just feeling kind of yucky, you can apply flash cupping here along the upper neck and up the upper shoulders. This is also appropriate for weak or frail clients clients, children over the age of seven. This is also really good for digestive concerns. So you can apply flash cupping to the abdomen, to the front of the body. And that also really helps with digestive concerns as well. When it comes to flash cupping, you want to check your cotton for burning because you do have the flame lit for a little bit longer. And this is where some people prefer to use that cupping torch and said, that cupping torch instead. So if you notice that your cotton just starts to burn, it's no big deal. Just remove this cotton from the hemostat and replace with a new one and start the process again. Flash cupping can be repeated for five to 10 minutes. And what you're looking for is a change in the skin color so that the marks are like a light red to maybe even like a medium red. So this is not a strongly marking technique. And once you see these marks appear, then you know that the technique is over and just go ahead and finish out the treatment. If you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification button.